No one was seriously hurt here, but the manager says it was very traumatic and unfortunately part of a trend that does not appear to be slowing down. Two minutes of terror. Surveillance video capturing the moment when armed men rush in, coming face to face with the security guard first. One person against several people is nothing. Christian Briggs is the manager at Euphorium. Uh, they took what they wanted and then they left. It happened just before 9 o'clock last night. The suspects took off, but police say they spotted a car leaving and a pursuit followed, coming to an end in Seattle. It's believed that there were three people in the car. We have apprehended one of them and recovered multiple firearms from that person. It's unfortunate that these uh, occurrences continue to happen, um, but hopefully that we can uh, do some things that can lessen the effect. In Washington, it's happened over and over again. The state's Liquor and Cannabis Board was told that there were more than 50 cannabis store robberies in the first three months of this year, with many involving firearms. In one case, Jordan Brown, an employee at World of Weed, lost his life. Shortly after that, a virtual roundtable with cannabis sellers was held to discuss the spike in robberies. Bureaucracy yes. runs really slow, um, and the crisis is now. One concern is federal drug laws that prohibit national banks from getting involved with cannabis stores, so most are cash only. But there's a push for Congress to pass the Safe Banking Act, which would allow the use of credit and debit cards. Back at this business, Briggs says while employees were not seriously hurt, what they went through was traumatic. The thought of the individuals that work at this store and that are at home right now and affected by this, that's what really matters to me. A representative from the state's Liquor and Cannabis Board is scheduled to take part in a briefing with members of Congress to discuss the Safe Banking Act next week. In Linwood, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.